Today's tutorial is going to be how to remove a green screen in absolute perfect conditions but also how to remove a green screen in not so perfect conditions. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and we're going to look at how to remove a green screen today um, in perfect conditions but also when you took a picture and the green screen in the background is not so perfect. And I'll show you a couple of examples of what I mean right now. So here you've got a picture of me looking really weird because I'm going to put flames in my hands. Um, and that's with a perfect green screen. But this is the reality of what actually happens when you're trying to take a picture with a green screen. We'll come back to that in a minute. If you do manage to get a nice evenly lit green screen, it's a lot easier obviously. You go to select, color range, keep the fuzziness to around about 40, that'll be fine. Click on the color that you want, click OK. And I actually like to just um, expand the selection a little bit so I'll go select modify expand I'm just going to expand it by one pixel click OK um, and then hit the backspace ah but first of all you've got to turn it into a layer and that's really easy you get your background click on the lock drag it into the bin turn it into a layer and then all you do is hit the backspace and that's easy there you go you have now got I'm going to deselect by pressing Ctrl and D and I've now got a person that I can move into any picture that I want to move into. That's how it happens if you get your green screen correct. The reality is this happens. You get reflectors coming in this end, uh, a stand coming in this end, the back's not so evenly lit and that's kind of really what's going to happen. So this time we're going to crop it properly and get all of the reflectors out. Let's get this out because it doesn't matter because I'm going to move the person into another picture so it doesn't matter if I leave a little bit or a lot of green around the edge. So that will do. Click the tick. It's nicely cropped. And then I need to select all of this um, green screen. So I'm going to use this time, I'm going to use the magic wand tool. Again, you can put your tolerance at 40 or I'm going to just put it at 40, round about 40. And make sure that you've got this ticked, which is called contiguous. And then you just click on the green screen. And you can see here it's missed bits off here and here. Now you need to add selections, so you hold down the shift key and you can see a plus sign coming up on my magic wand tool. Hold down the shift key, click again and it selects that colour as well. Click there, click round over there and, and then all I need to do is select this middle bit here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, hold down the shift key add the selection. Okay, so now we've selected all of that green screen. But what we've got, if we zoom in, let's zoom in, ooh, that's my eye. If we zoom in on my hair, we can see that the green is within the hair. So what I now need to do is take off contiguous, like that. Hold down the shift key again, because I'm still adding a selection. And this time I'm going to click on some of the greens within my hair. That's great. And as you can see now it's selected all them bits within the hair. Um, I'm just going to check that it's not selected any other bits of green. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to check that there's no other selections. No, that's alright. That's good. Okay, that's great. Now the other thing is this because I've got hairy arms. I'm going to have to cut that hair out because it's just, uh, it's just not going to be good otherwise. So this time I'm going to use the lasso tool. Lasso tool, hold down the shift key again because you want to add a selection. 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I get this correct. Hold down the shift key and go all the way around the hair like that. Here I've just gone over a little bit so I'm going to take away a selection by holding down the Alt key. Like that. Now I'm going to do that to the rest of the picture so it's all nice and neat and I'll see you in a minute. Okay so I'm back. I've selected everything that I want. I've cut out the arm here and now we're ready for the next stage. What you've got to do is the same as before, you've got to expand the selection by going select, modify, expand. One pixel will do me nicely, like that. And then I'm also going to put um, a feather around the edge, just to soften the edges off so that when I drag the picture into another picture, it doesn't look so harsh. To do this, you click refine edge this box comes up and you've got feather here drag it across till you get it looking nice and soft I'll try and zoom in a little bit here that's it so you drag, I mean if I went all the way that's not good so you just want a very slight feather so it's a bit soft around the edges Let's try that, let's try that, click OK. Turn your background into a layer by dragging the lock into the bin. Hit the backspace and there we go. And that's how you remove a green screen, let's zoom out again. That's how you move a green screen in a more realistic environment. So I'm going to go Control D to deselect and then I'm free to now move that wherever I want to go. So that's how easy it is to remove a green screen um, when you've took the green screen picture wrong. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you want to see any more free tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel, join me on social media, and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.